Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Pass, and we have three Conical Burr home coffee grinders which perform way above their size and price. So let's look at which one's best for you. We have the Optiono Ligon Mini, the Varia VS3, and the Goat Story Arco. Now we've done individual reviews on each of these, so for full reviews, check those out in the description below. If you've liked this content so far, please like and subscribe. It really helps us deliver more weekly content. All three grinders are super low retention grinders. Some say zero retention, but let's call them low retention grinders. With the Vario VS3 and Ligon Mini being very similar. At 0.2 of a grams with no RDT method and 0.1 of a grams with RDT. RDT being when you spray a bit of mist of water onto the beans pre-grinding. In saying that, with the Vario VS3, you do need to use the bellows to get down to that level. And with the Arco, you do need to tap the body just to get rid of any residual at the end. Dialing in coffee on all three of these grinders is super simple, with the Varia and the Ligon Mini being almost identical, where you're moving the hopper left and right to dial them in. With the Arco, it's slightly different. You've got 270 steps to dial in, and moving from espresso to filter means you're gonna have to go through multiple revolutions. There is an indicator there so you can see where you're at, but it just involves a little bit more work. With the Varia and the Ligon Mini, they're stepless. So you're just moving it and you can move all the way around to go from espresso to filter and back. Really easy to do and quite similar amongst the group. Just know with the Arco, dialing in is slightly different between when you're using it as a hand grinder or with the electric motor due to the RPM change. The Ligon Mini and Varia VS3 are super quiet with the Arco being a bit louder when it comes to noise. As you can hear, So the Arco is clearly louder. Between these two, they've got a similar noise, but the Ligon Mini does sound almost a bit more consistent or a bit more powerful. In saying that, they are super quiet and almost sound and feel toyish. All three grinders have the tiniest of footprint. They're all very small grinders, but the Ligon Mini is the smallest. I would almost say the Ligon Mini is almost the same size as the portable section of the Arco. So it's almost like it's a portable electric coffee grinder. And in that sense, it's kind of cool. I do like that you could grab this grinder, take it with you, or just have it in your coffee setup at home. Talking about your coffee setup at home, because these grinders are so small, on a filter coffee setup, I feel like they look really good. But when you have them next to bigger espresso machines, sometimes visually they can look a bit out of place. And being so small, when you do go, say, adjust the grind adjustment, you do have to hold the grinders because they're quite light and can move around the bench a lot. With these two, because they've got external power supplies, depending on where your power point is, it can look like you've got a computer charger on your power point on the bench, and that can detract from the visual appeal. But most importantly, how do these grinders perform against each other in both espresso and filter coffee? Let's look at them one by one. The Ligon Mini. This grinder produces espresso with really nice clarity. It's got really low level of fines, and being a conical burr, it produces coffee with complexity and sweetness. For the filter side of coffee, it really reminds me of the Commandant hand grinder. And that's a really good filter coffee grinder. And filter coffee is where this grinder really performs. It's small, so it could almost be an electric travel grinder, kind of like the Arco, but travel and electric. And it's really well built. It does feel a bit toyish, but it's a nice grinder overall, especially on the filter side of things. The Vario VS3. This grinder produces espresso with sweetness, body, and complexity. When it comes to filter coffee, it's got a juicier brew with clarity and body in the cup. The Vario VS3 is small, yet it's a bit larger than the Ligon Mini, so not as portable, but in a home coffee setup, I feel like it fits a little bit better in that you can dial it in without the whole unit moving. Now, to get to that super low retention, you do need to use the bellows. On a white unit, it doesn't look great. On a black unit, it does blend in. And only little negative is on super light roast, it can struggle a bit, but mid roast and above, it works perfectly. And most people will be drinking mid and above for espresso and filter, so I don't see that being a real issue. When it comes to an overall grinder, for its price point, doing espresso, filter, low retention, it really does perform super well and really is a great value grinder. 
the Arco. Now this grinder produces delicious coffee with great clarity, especially as a filter coffee grinder. It's unique in the sense that it's the only grinder in the group to be both a hand grinder and an electric grinder with great workflow. So it really is a truly portable grinder. It is also the loudest grinder in the group and the most expensive grinder in the group. So you are paying for uniqueness and the ability of having a grinder to go and a grinder at home, all in one that does espresso and filter. But in that sense, it is more expensive than these two grinders. So which grinder should you choose? I see these as entry level grinders that perform way above their price point or as secondary grinders. Say you already have your main espresso blend grinder, you might have these as a single dose grinder for your origins or specialty coffees or for your filter coffee setups. Now they're all very small grinders and somewhat portable, especially these two, they're very portable. They don't take up much bench space and they have a lot of versatility in the sense of main grinder, secondary grinder or even travel grinders. When it comes to a pure travel grinder, I picked the Arco. It really is portable, can do espresso and filter, both travel and you can still use it at home, although it is a little bit noisy. When it comes to filter coffee, I'll pick the Ligon Mini. It really does produce nice filter coffee. It reminds me a lot of my Commandant hand grinder, and that's an excellent filter coffee grinder. Plus it's so small, so you could use it for filter and as a travel electric grinder, which makes it quite unique. And for an overall, grinder that performs well from both espresso to filter, at home, low retention, it's just really great for its price point. Very overall grinder, I'll go the Varia VS3. This grinder is just a bit more multi-purpose and next to a coffee machine, you can dial it in without it moving around. It's a little bit bigger, got a little bit more presence, does espresso and filter well. So it really depends on what you're wanting your grinder for. Travel, filter, multi-purpose. That's kind of which way I would pick through these grinders. If you want to dive into any of these grinders in more detail, we have done a review on each of these grinders independently. So you can click on the links in the description below and you can have a look at those videos. My question to you is, which of these grinders do you have or would you pick and for what use case? Espresso, filter or both? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.